Malika Andrews is blessing the show and she is live from Orlando, headed out there on Monday. So many questions, uh, cause you're getting ready to go into the bubble. You're not quite in the bubble yeah. yet. Uh, so what's, what's the vibe like in Orlando for you? It's rainy. Um, <laughs> so like you said, I, I got to Orlando on Monday. Um, I flew from New York where you are and was safely transported by um, a driver who showed me, he said, hey, look, he, see, here's my, here's my negative coronavirus test, just so you know, before you get in the car with me. Got in the car, drove to a hotel that's about a three minute drive from where the actual bubble campus is going to be. Um, it's where NBA staff are staying right now. It's where folks who are actually building the event, putting the floors down in the sports complex, things like that are actually staying before we head, quote unquote, into the bubble tomorrow. And what it's been like is I, I basically haven't left my hotel room, save for going down to the lobby to grab food. And I, come, I bring it back up to my room, I eat it in my room. And then I also leave once a day to go and get tested for coronavirus. So other than that, I've, I've been in my little room. And when I do leave, you have to, you have to wear a mask. I sometimes put on two, I'm that like, uh, I, I'm paranoid, I guess, about it. And they ask you to wash your hands all the time. I wear rubber gloves. And then if you don't have a mask, they provide you with these MBA masks oh. that have the little logo on them, right? Yeah. So you can put Breaking these on. Breaking news here. Exclusive. <laughs> exactly. Look. Exactly. Everyone who's coming to the bubble can get their MBA masks. Um, what, and so what that's really good are they? Are they like, are they like surgical masks or are they cloth masks? These are, these are surgical. These okay. are, these are not cloth. These are more the, 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 the medical, they feel like medical now. I, they're not N95 masks or any of that, but they, they feel like medical masks. They have the cool little logo on them. And yeah, anytime you walk into the, the space to get tested, they shoot a, almost like a laser beam style thermometer at your forehead. They take your temperature, you go and get tested. It's one swab. The first day it was way up tickling your brain in one nostril, swab in the other nostril, and a third swab down your throat. And you have to do that every single day. And it's what the players will be going through when they come down next week. Okay, so you guys, why why are you not in the bubble quite yet? What What is the action as far as, you know, this this whole process? Because players are expected next week. Right. But, but both MBA staff and, and reporters are not quite on the campus yet. Why is that? Right. So most reporters aren't going to be arriving until mid-July because uh, ESPN and Turner are partners with the league. I'm down here um, a little bit early to be quarantined in time uh, and have been tested diligently in time for when players arrive. So we'll be able to do our jobs well down there. And then right now, like you said, more NBA staff is here just setting up the, the, the worldwide sports complex. I was told that the floor hasn't even actually been put down in the gyms yet. They were just finishing up the lighting in the gyms today. So that's the process that the NBA staff are sorting through right now. So what is the, the process like right now as far as getting ready for players to arrive? Because they're, they're arriving, what, you know, in a week or so. Yeah, I mean, I noticed even today, as we're one step closer to actually heading into the bubble, that the safety in terms of the testing site has even gone up a notch. There weren't um, security uh, places you had to walk through, metal detectors that you had to walk through before today. The te regular temperature checks just started today. They were a little bit more infrequent for the past two days, and I was doing them. We were asked to do them on our own. Um, and so you're seeing that already start to ramp up. Those plans start to ramp up because ready or not. I mean, the players are going to be coming. And so this is the protocol they want to be set in place. And believe it or not, Cassidy, it's going to get even stricter when we actually enter the bubble tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and like you said, you're, you're, you're kind of like a guinea pig on, on <laughs> making sure that like you're following the right protocols. We, we actually right. have a picture of you. One of our friends <laughs> took it on the bus. You were social distancing on there the bus. There I am. You're paranoid. <laughs> but both of us, you know, having been in New York for the last couple of months, let's just say like we're affected and very aware of, of how this virus, um, you know, it, it can, can capture communities. So exactly. there you are, masked up, 
a proper distance uh, away. Um, so I, you know, like the, the, the spread of this virus is, it's a big concern. I know the MBA, um, you know, is, is planning for positive tests. Um, you know, as we're seeing right now, more and more players are testing positive specifically, you know, we're seeing with the Brooklyn Nets, um, mm -hmm. a, a team you've been covering and, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie is, is one of the most recent nets to confirm his illness, um, with COVID-19. He's actually experiencing, um, uh, uh s some symptoms as he, he's, he's tweeting right now that I, I, today I haven't been in the bed this much since my surgery. Um, but, but how are Spencer and the nets? handling his case specifically. Yeah, so Sean Marks spoke, the general manager of the Nets spoke to reporters today on a Zoom call, and he essentially said that at this point, he doesn't believe that any more players are going to opt out of Orlando. But remember, they have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving who are both sidelined with injuries and won't be traveling to Orlando even to observe their teammates. Nick Claxon, their rookie, had season-ending shoulder, season shoulder surgery in late June, so he's not going to be making that trip with him. And then Wilson Chandler told me over the weekend that he's opting out of Orlando to care for his aging grandmother and his three children. And then you have DeAndre Jordan, who tweeted out that he has coronavirus and does not plan to join the team in Orlando. So that's already five players for sure with one team that are not heading to Orlando. And Spencer has said that, that his uh, play in Orlando is in jeopardy because of coronavirus. Now, one thing to remember though, as we talked about off air before this is that up until players arrive, which is considered phase four within the NBA protocol, if they are medically cleared to play, even if they tested positive for coronavirus, if they have recovered, if they've tested negative twice and have been medically cleared and elect not to play, they can still be subject to financial penalties from the team and lose a big chunk of money. For DeAndre Jordan, that's to the tune of $1.2 million if he doesn't have uh, a replacement. The Nets could give him a put in a replacement player. So there's a lot of decisions to be made for these guys, not just from a coronavirus health perspective, but if they elect not to play, which is totally valid, and Sean Mark said that he would support any player who does not want to go to Orlando for any reason, there are financial repercussions potentially for that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.